welcome back to the sound for more channel today uh, we are going to go through another episode on how to use corona from disco dsp before i continue i would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel thank you very much okay so today we are going to have a look at the arpeggetto inside corona which is a fantastic feature as you can see here, I'm inside uh, um, Corona. I have just selected uh, a preset here called Bright Light from this Urban Producers Toolkit in terms of bank. And um, this is what it sounds like. Just a simple plug. I've just adjusted a little bit the release here so that uh, it's a less plucky at the end. Now, as you can see uh, on the top left, there is an option which says ARP, so you can enable it clicking here on the left hand side. So ARP is enabled. You don't see anything at the moment because you need to click on this arrow pointing down and then you move to the arpeggiator screen. So let's press one key on an external controller which is connected to Corona and let's listen. So what you can see here on the right hand side is immediately a number of steps, of course, and at the moment I'm playing up to eight steps, which is defined here through this dial, but of course you can increase the number of steps, as you can see here, up to 32. You can see the 32 step there. And as you move down the dial, you can see it is moving the step here. Okay, so let's reset these down to, for example, playing only eight steps, which would be the one highlighted. Additionally, what you can see here is on the vertical bars is the velocity. Okay, so it's playing um, the notes according to the mode here, which is up and down at the moment, but it could be chord, up, down, down, uh, changing the uh, repeating um, lower octave, octave, and then up and down, up and down, plus when you see the plus, it repeats uh, the last note, and then random or as played. And then you have an option, of course, to select it if you go up to two octaves, three octaves, um, four octaves, etc., etc. So here from 0 and 127, you establish the velocity. So the lower the bar, the lower the velocity. So just uh, let's... Uh, show you an example like so so you can hear as i moved this bar up to almost to the top the velocity on this first step on this first note is actually quite high of course you can press a um, number of notes externally to the controller and then it will play according to the mode selected here for each of the steps of course where they're active so let's play a c minor chord It sounds really great. So you can decide the number of octave, as I mentioned. So let's say I want to go up to three octave. I'm actually starting from a lower octave on my controller, but that's okay. I reset these to two. So you can change the number of steps. You can change the length of the step. It's like a gate for each step. that depends on the preset that you have selected and of course how open how much open that preset is in terms of gate you can add swing so bipolar you can decide a velocity mix as well 
which you can change, then you can also change the way that it is triggered by song position, by uh, legato, which is what I'm using now, or every time that the note is uh, pressed, which I don't particularly like, but I'm sure it can be useful. So every time you press a note, it will restart immediately. I don't particularly like that. I prefer the actually the legato function. You can um, select the clock, particularly the speed for the steps. You can move up and down presets here with the arrow and you can click also to choose a preset which you previously stored and if you click on edit you can rename, store, load, cut, copy and paste that preset. Additionally you can also lock it so to prevent from changing as you move presets. Now in terms of defining how it works well it's very simple you just click somewhere and you set the velocity like so it's very simple. If you go towards the right hand side on the border you see the cursor is changing and then you can click and drag and slowly and you can merge the step like so. You can of course deactivate them pressing uh, underneath and then you can reactivate them like so. You can activate them in full or not or again you press as you prefer. If you have a mouse you can scroll up and down to do fine adjustment and you can also use the, con the control button to do some glides between the different steps. Now the additional thing is that you can do modulation if you click here. You have modulation uh, source 1 and 2. Let's use the first one. And then let's say here on the modulation metrics, we're going to say that the ARP modulation 1 is going to the pitch, okay, as a, a target. So the source here is ARP modulation 1, which is this one which we have selected. And the target here is pitch. So as soon as I select something, So you can see it's changing the um, uh, the um, pitch, and um, I also have one here selected for ARP modulation two on the cutoff. That is why you could see also some movement here on the cutoff, but that uh, depends, of course, on what you are trying to do. So it's um, it's um, a great um, feature. So experiment with it because it's quite nice, particularly when you can use it on presets like plugs. It sounds like magic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.